Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Great Papyrus out of felt. So to start, I drew a picture roughly of the size that I wanted and then I created a armature out of pipe cleaners and held it up to it and basically just bent everything to where I wanted it to be to where, where the limbs started and ended and yeah. The next thing I did was I took a wad of white felt and I wrapped it around his torso to make his battle body. I then took two smaller balls of white felt and I attached it onto the shoulders to make his shoulder pads. The next thing I did was I sized up two strips of yellow felting sheet to make the little cuffs or sleeves that are at the bottom of his shoulder pads or sleeves I guess, I don't know, the, the yellow things. And in order to not break my needle, I used hot glue to just stick it right on the pipe cleaner. Now I was going to do this anyway, but I stupidly used white pipe cleaner for the waist and I should use black, but I was going to thicken it anyway, so I just wrapped some black around it to cover it, but I also, again, like I just said, wanted to make it thicker so it looked more like a waist than just a stick. I then took another sheet of yellow felt and I wrapped it around his upper waist so it touched the bottom of the white. Now for his little booty shorts, I kind of wrapped them around his legs like a diaper because I wanted it to just be on there instead of just felt it to it. I wanted it to wrap around so it was secure. And then once again, I took another yellow felting sheet and cut it to size and wrapped it around the upper part of his pants and lower part of his waist. And just to clarify, I am using hot glue in order to attach all of the yellow pieces. Now for his gloves, I just used orange and I felted it into kind of a loose teardrop shape. And then once I was happy with the shape, I did another teeny tiny teardrop shape to make the thumb and attached it to the outside of the palm. And for his cuffs, I again cut out a sheet, a little tiny sliver of the yellow sheet and hot glued it to the wrist. Now his boots were kind of a pain to make, so I made the upper part wide, the middle part slender and then I curved it into an L shape and felted it against itself so it stayed to look like a foot. Now to attach the foot I took my scissors and I pushed them into the top part and opened a hole so that I could push it into the pipe cleaner and also hot glue it for to make it secure. Now I'm moving on to his head and to do that I just got a giant wad of white and started felting it into a ball. I also indented where his cheekbones would be to give him more of a skeleton appearance. Okay, for these next few clips I couldn't really record myself doing it because I have no idea how to use a needle and thread and I really wanted to do it for this project so I just basically did two little lines on his boots and then I cut out pieces for his eyes out of black felt and his nose and I attached those using hot glue and then for his mouth I sewed that on as well and it was too small for me to put his teeth so I left it just white and then for the space in his mouth that's black I felted black in between that and I finished the face like that. I then again took another felting sheet that was a little bit of a more orange, darker orange and I cut it to make his neckerchief scarf thing. I then cut out a triangle and three little rectangles for the little logo patch insignia thingy on his chest. 
And now you got yourself a little opposable standing desk papyrus plushie. Yay! And thank you for watching my video. Comment down below and like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next week. Bye!